Friends, welcome to the great N64 showdown. We have ourselves a great series lined up here and I cannot wait to share it with all of you. The Nintendo 64 was my favorite console growing up and is still one of my favorites to this day. It has some absolutely wonderful exclusive titles and it has some total stinkers. With 393 titles overall and only 296 in North America, it has one of the smallest libraries of any home console. The 3DO almost had as many games as the N64. The 3DO. Even the failed Sega Dreamcast had over twice as many titles in North America alone. And to compare to the most direct competition at the time, there were around 1300 PS1 games released in North America. Now obviously quantity does not always equal quality, but just think about it. This really puts into perspective how small of a library the N64 had and just how difficult it was for outsiders to get acquainted with the hardware and crank out quality titles. While companies like Nintendo themselves and Rareware were able to get familiar over time and put out some all-time classics on the console. So this small library presents us with a very unique opportunity. We are going to have a tournament bracket made up of all 296 North American releases. From Super Mario 64 to Shadowgate, from Star Fox to South Park, they will all be here. We are going to start with basing most of the seating around the top 50 best-selling games and then just try to seed the rest of the field based out on either my personal experience, also perception or impressions I've seen from friends and YouTubers alike for games that I haven't played, and then also try to match up the first round based on similar genres for the sake of having some direct and fair comparisons to kick us off. We are also going to have 40 wildcard matchups, so to speak, that most of our sports titles will be relegated to. There is just an absurd amount of sports games on the system and some really bad ones at that. So we're going to weed out many of those as early on as we can so that we have a real variety in the meat of the bracket as we progress here. Even if all five Madden games are probably better than Superman 64, we don't necessarily need five Madden games in our main bracket. So we will see a bunch of these either annual or redundant sport games weeded out in our 40 wildcard matchups to narrow the field from 296 to 256 to fit a standard bracket size. And to put this into a bit of perspective, this was before professional sports games were really exclusive to only one or two developers. In many of these cases, we have three or even four separate developers releasing annual entries for certain sports. So please keep in mind that this is all in good fun and just one of many opinions on YouTube. There are absolutely going to be some of your favorite games gone too soon in this bracket setup. And I promise we will circle back to the losers bracket and have a sort of gone too soon send off and maybe even have some sprinkled back in via fan vote in one of our later rounds. There are just so many borderline really great games on this console that we are going to have an uphill battle due to some of the seed and the matchups, but we will give credit where credit is due as much as we can here. And frankly, there is no perfect way to build this bracket. As such, we have a variety of games and genres, and even some one-offs which don't really have a mate to pair up with. So on and so on, look, please just take this for the fun it is intended to be, and know that each and every game in the North American library will get its fair share of attention here. It is also important to note the number of entries that have PS1 counterparts or report of arcade PC, or even PS1 games, while the differences therein might get talked about or referenced, they will not be a basis for whether or not the games move on in the bracket here. These are all on the basis of how these games look, feel, play, perform, etc. strictly as Nintendo 64 games compared to one another. In the future, we would like to branch this out into mods or spin-offs like Ocarina of Time's Master Quest or The Missing Link or even a couple of newly restored game builds such as 40 Winks or Rare's original Dinosaur Planet. Heck, maybe by that time we can get through this thing we'll have Glover too. Am I right? Anybody? Well alright, a guy can dream. Now lastly, I want to say these videos will start off with a pretty sporadic flow through the first round as currently I only have about 80 of the 296 North American release games. So there will be some videos that get done sooner than others due to my current library, but that library is growing every month. That being said, please feel free to like and subscribe so we can get this show going, pick up some steam early. I would sincerely appreciate any shares, likes, subscribes, discussions that we can put around these videos and really help us pick up some steam this early in the show. You know, as time goes on, obviously, we hope to put some a little bit of production value behind what we're doing here. And I just really appreciate everybody that's taken time to uh, you know, take a look at what we're doing here. And I just 
really have high hopes for this. It's been a passion project for quite some time. I honestly wrote this script a year ago while I was on paternity leave and kind of pulled it out the other day and thought, heck, you know, maybe it's time to finally, you know, put this into action here and I'm you know I'm really excited for what we're doing so thank you for anything that you contribute to the show discussion likes subscribes and so on and that being said you know my goal here is to play all this on native hardware um, I currently don't have any modded consoles so for the most part um, everything is going to be you know straight based on you know what it what it looked like originally um, I would like to avoid emulating if, if possible, but, you know, and, and there are just some, you know, incredibly expensive titles out there right now that are only getting more and more pricey by the day, you know, from Worms, Conquer, uh, Transformers, Beast Wars, there's just, you know, there's only so much you could do with games like that to avoid emulating, so, before anybody asks, yes, I've already got my copy of Superman 64, thank you, we'll not need any donations there, but, um, it's actually a great segue. Our first video we have lined up here is actually going to be Superman 64 versus Super Mario 64. Uh, the top seed versus the bottom seed. You know, like I said, there may be some N64 games out there legitimately worse than Superman 64. There might be, and we're going to find them. But um, at the end of the day, there's probably no game out there that has a worse rap or reputation on the N64 than Superman 64. So that being said, uh, I hope to have that video up real soon, so please uh, you know, keep an eye out, um, and we'll catch you all next time.